them to learn from the book of James. Chapter 1, verse 22. We are going to learn from the book of James, chapter number 1, from verse 22. When this was few, I Jesus. We are going to rewind those that you have been already taught. Because those that have been said are not They are just the, the words that have been repeated. The first preacher started and we have to continue from there. Come on, I'm a brother, I'm sorry, 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 I'm Yeyote anayesikiliza hilo neno lakini halitekelezi huyo ni kama mtu anayejiangalia sura yake mwenyewe katika kio kujiangalia mwenyewe kisha huenda zake na mara usahau jinsi alivyo lakini mtu anayeangalia kwa makini sheria kamilifu ambayo huwapa watu huru mtu anayeendelea kuzingatia na kuisikia tu na kuisahau baadaye bali anaitekeleza mtu huyo atabarikiwa katika kila anachokifanya Amen. Amen. I think you have understood from Kwa sababu ni maneno yalikuwepo tangia mwanzo. Because they are the word that were there since the beginning. Hata ukiangalia enzi wakati Yesu alikuwa anahubiri even the time Jesus was preaching. Kuna watumishi walikuweko utangia muanzo. There are some servants that they were there from the beginning. Walikuwa wanapewa uchumbe wa kufundisha watu. They were given messages to, to teach people. Iyo njia ilikuwa ni njia ya haki. It was the right way. Lakini wakati ilifika wakati wa Yesu. But when it came... The time of Jesus. Those people be, began to be the law of Jesus. Those people the law of Jesus. Those people began to condemn Jesus by following the, the law that he, it was there at that time. When the Pharisees came to Jesus, they were coming with some events that they are doing for their, themselves. But the, the foundation that God has laid for them, they were not following them. Then it reached the time Jesus said that, Jesus said that, they are teaching you good things. But if you focus on their behavior, they are not following the teachings that are that, that are, that they are teaching. They are good on reading the word of God. Lakini ukiwambia watende katika ile neno. But when you tell them to do according to the word. Awalitende ile neno. They cannot do it. Yesu akahona watu kama au ukiwajia injili. Then Jesus saw that when you leave the gospel to such people. Kasi hii watu wengi hawataokoka. Then many people will not be born again. What is us feel? Sababu kizazi hiki. Because of this generation. Utaambia mtu fanya vile ambavyo na kuambia usifuate matendo yako. There's no way you can tell some somebody to do but not to follow according to the to your ways. When is us feel? Wengi wanataka kuona jinsi wewe unakaa na jinsi vile yale unaongea yanakufanyikia. Most of them will focus on the way you are your lifestyle is and the way you are 
the what you are telling them if it is happening to you. Bwanaweza sifiwe. Ndio sababu Yakobo akaandika akasema ya kwamba That's why James wrote and said that. Musikuwe watu wa kusikiliza tu neno. Don't be people of just listening the word. Kisha unapotoka hapo mahali ukikanyaka nje umesahau ile neno. Then after listening the word, there after you go when you for, you have already forgotten the word. Wewe ni yule mtu ambaye amefananishwa na yule anayeamka na kujiangalia kwa kiwa asubuhi. You are a person compared to the one who wake up and look himself or herself on the mirror. Sababu huu utakuwa unatembea na kioo kiangalia sura yako watu wananiangalia aje. Because you are you will just be walking with a mirror watching at yourself saying the way people are looking at you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sababu wanasema tu wao wa kusikia neno. Because they say that we have to be people who listen to the word. Ukishasikia neno When you listen to the word. Hiyo neno basi endo kaifanyie kazi. Then you you have to put it in practice. Lakini usikuwe mtu wa kusikia neno. But we should not be people of listening the word. Wewe ndio huyu umetoka kanisani umesahau neno. And after the service you forget the word. Ndio wakati unakuwa ukiuliza mtu leo huyu mhubiri amefundisha nini ama alisoma kitabu gani mtu amesahau. That's why when you ask somebody what have we been been taught you you will get that the person does not even remember ni kama hapo umekuja tu kuangalia kio picha yako it is just like you we are just come there to do na umekuja kuchaza register hapo you have just come to fill the register sababu wewe niambie mwako wewe anza uishe kama bado tunakufundisha tu mafundisho yale yale na hakuna siku mimi haitenda because we cannot be taught throughout the whole year and we cannot remember what we have been taught. When is as few? Wewe ni mtu aina gani sasa? What what kind of person are you? When is as few? Kwanza mwako anze tumekufundisha wazana na wajana na hii vitu ya masengenyo. Since the beginning of the year we have been taught to to live gossip. Na wewe bado tu unaendelea kwa masengenyo mtu kama huyo tutamfanya aje. What can we do to a person like that? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sababu mwako unaanza unaisha wewe bado uko tu kwa huyo mtu na mfundisha na ako tu pale. Because from the beginning of the year up to the end you are teaching a person but he is not taking any step ahead. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hiyo ni kama tu hata kama hujafunuliwa hiyo unajua tu ya kwamba huyu ni mtu amekuja kuangalia sura yako akiona haruti kwa nyuma. That show that the person you are teaching is not even taking in what he is being taught. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndio sababu bibi inasema kwamba huwa mtu wa kusikia, ukishalisikia basi nifanyie matendo lionekane lile neno. And that's why the Bible says that we have to be people who listen. After listening we have to put those words in practice. Lakini usisikie neno na kulisahau but we should not listen for the word and forget it. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni unapouliza mtu umelielewa neno? And when you ask somebody have you understood the word? Utasikia yeah. You you find you will hear the word the the person saying yes. Lakini ukimwambia basi nielezee nilikuwa nasemaje kuhusu hiyo neno. But when you ask him to explain about the word he will not be able to explain. What is as fear? Huyo mtu anaanza kushangaza sasa ataanzia wapi? You find the person checking where will he start from? What is as fear? Yaani anajisahau mpaka anakuambia wewe umesema yote tasema nini? You find that the person is excusing himself saying that you have already said everything what am I what am I going to say? Lakini umemwambia tu rutia vile nimesema. But if we if you tell a person just to repeat the word that he has been taught Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hiyo mtu anaona hii sheria imeanza kuwa ngumu. The person will start judging about that the law has become to be tough. Sababu unaangalia kweli yale nafundisha huyu mtu anaeshika ama hayashiki. Because you, you follow to know that whatever I'm teaching is the person understanding or not. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua kuna shule na kuna ile ya 
kuna shule ya kufundisha kanisa ziko tofauti kuna ya kufundisha na kuna ile ya kupaka mafuta we have two, dif- two different type of churches the the where we are we, we have some teachings and the other side we just have Kwa hiyo hizo asifiwe. Ina italingana na wewe roho yako. Wewe ulikuwa unataka mahali pa kupakwa mafuta ama mahali pa kufundishwa uiti. Then it will have to depend on yourself whether you want to be told the word or you want to be anointed. Kwa hiyo hizo asifiwe. Kama ume, umechakuwa unataka mahali pa kupakwa mafuta, utaabiriwa na utafanyiwa sarakasi utaambiwa toa uparikiwe na utasonga mbele au utauliza swali. If you choose the place where you are going to be anointed that anointing oil you will not follow the word you just be concentrating on the on the message of being blessed and whatever When is the Where angalia haya makanisa ambaye anaonekana Just look at this church and that around Ufuatilie tu uone yule mtu naona akikaa pale mbele kila wakati umeaiona akisimama kiupili Just focus on those people that are in front front table have you ever seen them preaching lakini hapa mahali but now here hii nayo ni shule ya kukufundisha this is a school of teaching ili ukishahitimu so that once you are once you qualify basi uende ufanye kazi kwa ile ambayo umefundishwa then you have to go and do whatever you have been taught hapa tukufundishi injili ambayo unasikiliza alafu kisha toka ifanye kazi ndani yako here we are not going to teach you the gospel that you you hear and it's not going to do the work in your life bwana yesu asifiwe hiyo ndio different ya makanisa That is the difference between the churches. Na ndio sababu hii tutakufuatilia kama hutaki kukufuatilia aenda kwako. Amina. And that's why we are going to focus on you and if you don't want to be focused on you just have to go home. Yes. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hiyo ndio njia ambayo tuko na na hii ndio shule. Amen. That is the way that we are going to follow in this class. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi hatutakuhubiria alafu tukuaje tu wende wende. Amen. Amina. We are not going to preach mm-hmm. for you and just leave you like that. Lakini ukiona ni ngumu basi uamuzi iko kwako. Amina. But you, you if you see it difficult the choice is on you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi hatutafuata maneno ya ambayo tumefundisha mtu akishatoka hazi ndio huyo kwa miguu zake tena Sunday tukutane hivyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Yeah haitakuwa hivyo. It will not be like that. Lazima tukufuatilia tujue ya kwamba ili neno limeingia ndani ya roho yako unalifanyia kazi. We have to follow to make sure that whatever you are being taught are you doing the way it is the word is saying. Hata Yesu mwenyewe alisema nyinyi mnapofundisha basi kweli mifano mizuri kwa wale ambao mnaowafundisha. Amen. Even Jesus said that we that uh, we we teachers we have to be good example to to those that we are teaching the word bwana yesu asifiwe amen ili tuonekane kila tunachokifundisha pia sisi tunakifanya so that whatever we are teaching we have to do it amen. sasa kila ambacho nafundisha ninakifanya alafu wewe ninaye kufundisha ukifanye unadhani tutakuwa na jia moja amen if i'm doing mm-hmm. what i am teaching mm-hmm. and you are not practicing it are we going to to be together no no bwana yesu asifiwe amen alafu nikikuuliza unasema mimi nafanya vile roho yangu inataka and when you are being asked you say that you are doing the way you you like bwana yesu asifiwe amen hii ni different hii si kama ile amen very different hii tu hii nitakufuatilia mpaka wewe mwenyewe utoroke amen i'll just to focus on you to make sure that you are doing the right thing amen kama hapo ulikuwa unataka miujiza hapa kuna When you are expecting some miracles don't focus here. Mimi sitakuja nianze kusumbukana na mikono nikikuwekelea na kutoa mapepo. I will not come to to start casting the demons on you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mimi sitoi mapepo kwa kichwa cha mtu natoa uchinga ambao inamsumbua. Amina. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ile uchinga ambao inakuangamiza inafanya unahangaika huku na huku na kutoa The foolishness that is fooling you not mm-hmm. to 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 read the word of God 
If you decided yourself to start to start taking cigarette, I will not start saying that your anger is the one that led you to to that way. It is just your foolishness, foolishness that you decided to do it. When is as if you angalia kama kuna mzee alianza kunywa pombe yeye mwenyewe. If there is any man that began to take alcohol Hakuna uko wako wengine alikuwa anakunywa pombe. There is no any other relative that forced him to start drinking. Sasa mtoto wake wakati anaingia kwanza kukunywa pombe. Now you get that when his child begin to take alcohol. Mtu anaanza kusema huyu ni tabia kama za papa yake. You will find somebody saying that the child has followed the behavior of their of their father. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Basi papa yake alitoa wapi hizi tabia? Amen. The foundation began from our our grandfathers. Hii ni vitu ambavyo uliamka asubuhi mwenyewe ukaanza kuvifanya. There are the things that you woke up one day and you began to do them. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hapa mahali mimi sitataka kufundisha mtu mwako uanze ishe ni akiwa pale. Amen. We are not going to teach somebody mm-hmm. throughout the whole year when mm-hmm. he is still at the same point. Yes. Kama hutaki basi itabidi ujipande. Amen. If you don't want to to do it then you have to plan yourself. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hata kuna mtu alikuja kuambia Yesu, Yesu. Even there is somebody came to Jesus asking Jesus. Nimeleta mtoto wangu wanafunzi wangu wa kutoa pepo akashindwa. I have brought my child so that you have so that you have follow disciples can remove the the demons that they have they have been defeated Bwana Yesu asifiwe Yesu mwenyewe akasema yani nyinyi nitafuatana na nyinyi mpaka lini Then Jesus himself said that when am I going to follow you Mbona amuna imani kwa yale ninayoyafanya Why don't you have faith to whatever I'm doing Hata muyaoni kwa macho yale ninayoyafanya Even you are not able to by your eyes whatever i am doing when is as feel and how jesus was not teaching this alikuwa anafundisha huyo mtu alikuwa analeta huyo mtoto kwa wanafunzi he was teaching the the person that was bringing the child to the disciple sababu yeye hakuwa na imani because the past the the, the father of the child had no faith. Because Jesus himself wanted the the person to believe so that the child can get healed. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hivyo ndio unataka tufanye vitu ambavyo tunaona ya kwamba nikifanya hiki kinaenda hivi. That is the way I want to do something that when I do this goes the right way. Hata saa hii. Even now. Hata mtu akifungua biashara. When somebody opens a business. Aone hii biashara haimpei faida haina kitu ataendelea nayo. <laughs> When somebody open a business then then he see that there is no profit on that business. Mm-hmm. Will he continue doing it? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. No, no, no. Hata kulipa rent inakuwa ngumu ya hiyo biashara. Mm-hmm. Even rent payment becomes hard will the person continue doing the business no ipo ndivyo tunavyokufundisha mm-hmm. kama hatuoni faida kwako sasa ni ya nini amina that is the way we are teaching you Amen. you are not seeing your benefit uh-huh. what 
what, what is the profit you are making? Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hiyo ndio vitu tunakueleza ili upate kuelewa. Those are the things that we are explaining to you so that you can understand. Sio tunakuelewa mambo makumu ambayo lazima roho aingie kufunulie. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunakufundisha kitu reality yenye mwenyewe unaona na macho. We are going to teach you the reality things that you are going to see by your eyes. We mwako umeanza hata kuimba peke yake uimbi uko tu pale. Since the year started even you are not able to sing to Jesus. You are just there. Like Sasa ni ya nini unakuja kusikiliza neno? Unasikiliza neno la kazi gani kwako? Now why do you come to listen to the word? <laughs> Tunasumbukana na vitabu, tunasoma, tunangangana we uko tu pale. Tunangangana ya nini? We are struggling to to move ahead you are just there what are we struggling kama unataka kufanyia kazi yale tunakufundisha hakuna haja ukuje hapa amina if you want if you don't want to practice whatever we are doing amen there is no need for you to come here bwana yesu asifiwe amina ere tu bagi kwa nyumba it is better you stay in your house lakini yule mtu ako na kio anatamani yale tunamfundisha pia yeye mwenyewe ayafanye amen but if you if you have a if you have that to 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 put in practice whatever you are being taught in church. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ninarudia ili siri kanisa ambao tunataka watu tuone mukibarikiwa mukinunua magari mukisonga hii si hiyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii ni kuwatu kulero zao tuone kweli huyu anaenda mbinguni. Si ni aje yetu aende mbinguni. Our our purpose is to mend a use to see you that you are going to heaven. Na tufanyika kuwa wanafunzi twende tukafundishe wengine. Amen. And become the 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 student that can teach others. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Hata ukiangalia shule ambayo iko na mafundisho. If, even if you focus on the school that have teaching. Si haina wanafunzi wengi. It has no more students. Sababu karama iko juu. Because the <laughs> because the the requirements are very expensive. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini shule ya watoto wanakuja tu kurukaruka kiasi angalia vile iko na watoto wengi. But we should focus in the school that that children just go to play. You will get it having many children. Hivyo ndio makanisa yako sasa hivi. That is the way churches are. Wewe unataka kuona watu wengi. You want to see many followers. Hawa ni wale wale wanakuja kurukaruka wakiambia mko na nyota mmepokea ni dini. They are just coming to to be told that you have been blessed but they are not focusing on the word of God. Hata mtu afuatiliwi. Even the person is is not following the teaching. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hapa sina nyota kukukauya wewe. Here I don't have a start to to give it Hakuna nyota Yesu alisema nimewaajia manyota muwekee watu katika vita zao. Jesus did not say that they are live for us they starts to bless people. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hakuna nyota tuliyoambiwa zikwa mahali kwa mbio ya mchukue kama mtumishi kwao nakawa watu. There is no any star that Jesus said that we should take and give to to the people are preaching to Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kazi kubwa tuliyoambiwa ni kwa kungangana na wewe tukufuatilia mpaka uhakikishe uingie mbinguni. The big task we are given is to follow you and ensure you that you go to heaven. Lakini tukikufundisha alafu tukoaje tu wewe unaenda nyumbani free. But when we teach you and leave you going home with nothing. Hata ile kazi tunafanya hapa hata ile sisi turudi kwa nyumba basi. Even the work we are doing here it means that it is useless sababu hakuna kitu tunafanya because it means that there is there is nothing we are doing tukisimama tu hapa tukufundisha alafu uende pia sisi hakuna kitu tunafanya if we if we teach you and you go home with nothing it means there is nothing we are doing lakini mpaka tukufuatilie tujue ili neno tunalo kufundisha linafanya kazi ndani yako but we have to follow on you to ensure that whatever you are we are teaching you is it doing the the right thing in your life. Kwa hivyo umjiangalie. Therefore we have to focus on ourselves. Ukiona mtumishi anakufuatilia. When you see the servant following you. Usiunde roho yako kuwa ngumu na kuona ya kwamba unachunguzwa maisha yako. Don't start saying that this pastor is just is just focusing on you.
kubali tu useme mtumishi ndio unanifuatilia lakini mimi ni na kuanga mtu wa kusahau just a, 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 accept and say that although you are following on me but i'm um, a forget person ndio tuanzia hapo sasa so that we can begin from there ama wewe ni mtu wa kudharau neno maybe you are the person to ama huko na kitu ulikuwa unatarajia huko ikipata lakini sasa unaenda tu hapo juu ya msukumo na watu maybe there is something you are expecting that you did not get now you are just going there because of people when is the future amen tujiangalia tu watu tunaposikia neno tunaliangalia na kulifanya kazi let us focus ourselves so that when when we are being taught the word we have to practice it the way we are being told so mi nitafikia pale we are going to end from there tusio watu wa kusikia neno tu na kulisahau hapa tukienda kwa nyumba we should not be people of hearing the word and forgetting it when we go to our homes hata hivyo mungu atakuwa anakuangalia tu leo ukiwa hivyo ukitoka hapo nje pia yambo amekiuza maji yake mashida zinakuandaa matafu zinakufua tu naanza kushanga mungu nilikuwa naweza hadi sababu ulisahau kile ulifundishwa haukuenda nacho sasa pia mungu anasema umenipakishia sawa acha nipake na wewe naenda kama mkepo when you are being told the word of god and you forget it even god himself will forget about you because you are not following him sababu kile unataka nikufanyie pia wewe nifanyie hivyo nione because whatever you want god to do for you you also have to do what is right to god umejitolea kwangu mungu anauliza umejitolea kwangu basi mimi nitajitolea kwako kwa maisha yako when you offer yourself to god then god will offer himself to your life Kwanza sifio. Lakini usitembee na mizema ati Mungu ni mwenye haki kwa kila mtu. Anaangalia ni nani mwenye haki. But we should not work saying that God is righteous to every person. God is only righteous to the righteous people. Wewe simama kwa haki alafu uone Mungu atakuacha. When you stand on the righteous, will God leave you alone? Alafu enda ufanye dhambi huko nje ukitenda alafu uone pia Mungu bado atakuwa na wewe and to the person that will go to sin will god be on his side when is us few ni hayo tu kama kuna mtu ako na chambo eh kuna kitu ambacho ndugu amesema ya kwamba eh mtu asipoona faida ya kile kitu anafanya huyo mtu hawezi kufurahi si ndio mm. na kuna kitu amesema ya kwamba sisi kama kundi hili tumeamua ya kwamba kama tutaona faida yako ya injili ya roho maisha yako ya roho inapopanuka ile kazi Mungu alitutia basi hakuna haja tukue na wewe na utaona watu wanaanza kupingana mambo kama hayo lakini mtu akiwa kwa kazi we ni mwajiri mwajiri mtu kuna vitu ni expect huyo mtu akufanyie si ndio ndio pate faida hata ya kumuli lakini kama umeajiri ume mtu ya kwamba anafaa jenga mawe kumi kwa hiyo mawe kumi ndio upate faida ya kumulipa na wewe pia upate faida pale. Huyo mtu amejenga mawe tatu. Utaendelea ukana huyo mtu. So, kulingana na vile ndugu amesema, hata sisi ambao tuko katika hii imani, wakati tuna tunaamua kusema kwamba tunaamua kuenda katika njia ya Mungu. Kama tu biashara watu wanaelewa, mambo ya shule watu wanaelewa, mambo ya maisha watu wanaelewa. Kwa nini ninapofika katika mambo ya Mungu, watu nakosa kuelewa? Hii ndio shida tumekuwa nayo. Kwa sababu utaona watu wanaanza kusema hapana mnaanza kulazimisha watu injili hapana na kwani kazi wao watu wenyewe wanajilazimisha Bwana sipe sana so mimi ningependa hapo mahali ya kwamba tukue tu, tu clarify mzuri ndio ule mtu yule mtu ambaye anatusikia asione ile hii mkondo ambao tumechukua ni kama ni mawazo yetu kwa sababu kuna watu watainuka na kwanza kusema hapana nyinyi mmekuja katika njenge na kweli vile sisi hapa tuna operate sio vile yale makanza mengine vile Kevin amesema ina operate sisi hapa tunataka mtu akiokoka tumfuatilie hata kuliko DCI. Kutaka kuona ile kitu amesema amekubali, anaitenda. Na je, hiyo kitu tunaona faida yake? Na tusipoona faida hiyo kitu, basi ile muda ambao tumempatia ikiisha, basi huyu mtu aende apeleka hasara mali nyingine because hapa hatuko tayari kwa hasara. Sisi kama kikundi kuna mtu akotayari kwa hasara hapa mali. So hiyo ndio vitu ambavyo ningependa 
tuviangalie kwa wale watu ambao watainuka na kusema ya kwamba sisi tumekuja na kama tunalazimishia watu wale watu tutawajibu waje hiyo ndilikuwa jambo langu 